Oh my god, it is cold. Have I turned into a fur weather biker or what? Well, hello YouTube and welcome to 2019. A little bit late. <laughs> what are we today? 13th of January. Hope everyone had a nice Christmas and, go and wish everyone well for the new year. Right, this is the first video of the year with a bit of lot and many more to come. Well, we've got a bit of an action packed year for you this year. A few surprises on the way as well. Um, what we got coming up? April, Easter, another boys weekend, <laughs> uh, me and Ray are going camping, Scotland I think we're going to, uh, I've treated myself to a new tent, so if you remember what the last, uh, <laughs> the last camping trip was like, my, that little blue thing of was, I think it cost me 15 quid for Mazda, well I've bought a new tent. So, um, it's a three, got a, um, course has three man, I think it is, something, Fango, whatever it is, I don't know. Uh, it's a three man tent with an inner, inner section, you know, for your, your sleeping. It's supposed to be, uh, pretty good for the rain and what have you. It's a little seating area. Home from home, really. <laughs> hey! So I'm going to have another go of camping. Got myself a better sleeping bag. Because... The one I had last time was a wee bit cold. Uh, I mean, the last camping trip, as you saw, guys, was a bit of <laughs> it turned out to be a bit of a disaster. We were a bit washed out on the second day, so we're going to have another attempt at it. So it's probably going to be cold Easter weekend. So that's the first trip you got coming up. Might be a few rides before that. I'm hoping to put a couple more videos up before anyway. So this year we've got Romania. Now, first time ever we're doing the uh, Euro Tunnel. I've never done it before, so I'd like some of your thoughts, guys, on what you, what you guys have done in the past on trips. Has anyone done the Euro Tunnel? Thank you. And if so, give us your thoughts, guys, because in the past we've done the ferries, but this year we're doing the Euro Tunnel, Folkestone to Calais. And then uh, we're heading on then through uh, France. We're heading into Hung well Germany, and then Hungary, and we're heading across to Romania. So uh, that I am looking forward to. Should be a fantastic trip. It's the longest we're going to be away for this time. It's two and a half weeks, or well, just under two and a half weeks anyway. To um, to Romania, we're doing the Trans Fagarasen Highway. I think we're doing the Transalpine Pass as well. Um, they were doing. You're not going to believe this. We're doing the Grossglockner again <laughs> in Austria. We're going to stay at the top of the Stelvio again. I think we've got the same hotel as we had in uh, 2016. So I'm looking forward to that trip. Uh, with a few other places we've not been to before. Um, when we did Hungary in 2014. Uh, we didn't have the cameras back then, so um, another question as well. Apart from the uh, the European trip with the uh, the Channel Tunnel, I am thinking about changing the bike. Um, but a due a change. Now there's there's two I've narrowed it down to. I've got to do a test drive, but I'm thinking. We're doing touring, I want something that's going to be great for touring, one up and also two up. Because my wife does a lot of trips as well now with us. And I want something comfortable. The one I am thinking of going for um, is the FJR 1300. It's the new uh, 2019 model. It's got the new six speed box in it. Um, it's like a seamless box. 
it's got this new clutch design in it which allows you to effectively you can change up and down gear without the aid of uh, the clutch itself so there's that one it's got all the upside down forks and all that technical stuff that goes with it uh, and the other one I've been looking at is the BMW R I think it's the RT1200 Tourer now I don't know what they're like on fuel economy I'm getting mixed reviews some people are saying they're doing 45, 50 to the gallon some people are saying they're getting 35 so if anyone's out there I'm going to have a look at the forums as well but please guys can someone give me a bit of advice on what you boys think I know I'm not going to get 60 to the gallon like I do out the DeVille the DeVille is a 700 twin so it's uh, I know I'm not going to get the same type of fuel economy you know it's this is down on power but as a sacrifice you get fuel economy whereas uh, I think if you go for the bigger engines you get the power you get the comfort but unfortunately you lose a bit of fuel so it'll be interesting to see what you you guys think out there please let me know on this lovely windy cold January morning, afternoon now right anyway I'm going to head on to Chester I'm going to go and uh, have a quick chat with Bill Smiths see how he's getting on regards to the test drive let's have a little ride to Bill Smiths and go and have a look at this FJR uh, I don't know if they'll let me film inside they might do, they might not so guys Please let me know what your thoughts are. There is a, a very, very good chance I'm changing this year. Um, I've been sort of thinking for the last sort of year or so, now, last two years, I'm going to change the bike. And uh, I think it's time that I look at changing. I mean, the Deville, I've had this now since 2011. It's been a fantastic bike. Be sorry to see it go. It's just uh, one of the reasons I'm thinking of changing. Is when you're on tour, mainly with uh, I'm two up, it's struggling. Or you come to do overtakes, and they might not necessarily be anything major, but I've got to <laughs> got to give a bit of notice to overtake. So where's uh, on the bigger bikes when I had the 1200 he didn't even have to drop down again it was just a quick twist passed back down you know so the other two I'm thinking of so the FJR there's one I, I, I do like the look of it um, I don't know I'm just a bit worried about the fuel economy because some people are saying it's 40 45 others are saying it's 35 the book says it's nearly 50 I don't really believe that if I'm honest however when Ray had his uh, 1400 he was getting over 50 to the gallon so um, you wouldn't expect a ZZR 1400 to be doing 50 to the gallon so it should be interesting but please let me know your thoughts so what else have we got planned for this year uh, I don't know really a few outings what I'm thinking of doing, I'm just going to run it by you as well. I'm thinking of organising one or two ride outs this year. Uh, maybe press me up at the Ponderosa, do a bit of a ride around Wales. Coffee in the chat. Let's do a bit of a YouTube meet. Let us know your thoughts. Right, yeah, so a ride out if anyone's interested. Um, we'll make some plans. When it's a little bit warmer, I think. I think January is not the best time to go go riding out. But uh, I'll look at some routes in the summer, and we could uh, organise one or two meets. So we're in the city of Chester. Over to your right, there's the River Dee. I've only must have the camera will pick it up to be fair. Right, here we go, Bill Smiths.
Okay, so I've just been to Bill Smith's. Um, now, I doubt the video is going to pick it up. If you look through that door there, there is a, there's three bikes next to the red wall. That is the blue one, is the FJR. So I'm actually uh, looking forward to going to test drive that. Apparently they haven't got Yamaha, I haven't got a demo anywhere at the moment. Local enough to bring it in, so... There's no rush. The MOT doesn't run out till June. And uh, our first trip away is until uh, April anyway. So, the boss has just run me. <laughs> the wife. So I'm on my way home. Uh, what time is it now? Ten past two. Bloody hell. Anyway guys, that was a quick video today. First ride of the year. Uh, to go and have a look at a bike. So your thoughts guys will be greatly appreciated on the model I choose. The next video I'll go and have a look at BMW. But at the moment I am thinking about buying that FJR. Uh, anyway, I have to go and show the bike to Bill Smith. See what they thought. They've uh, just offered me 2200 for mine in current condition. So I'll be looking about 15 and a half grand for a brand new FJR. Ouch. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, as always guys. As I it wasn't a particularly interesting video today. Just a quick chat. Not much of a vlog really. I'm not one for vlogging as you know. Uh, but yeah. I am going to do one last review of this Deville though because um, I absolutely love it and still there's a very small percentage of me that doesn't want to get rid of it. Actually I'll do a quick review now. So the Honda Deville NT700, it's a V-twin, 69 brake horse I think it is or something. This particular model is a 2008. Uh, contrary to popular belief, it does actually do about 60 to the gallon. It has been my pride for the past seven years. My pride and joy. It's taken me uh, to Denmark, we've been to Norway, Sweden, done Hungary, Romania, Czech Republic, we've done Slovakia, um, Slovenia. Oh, where have we been? Austria, Switzerland. We did Italy. I've done the Stelvio Pass on it. I have done the Grossglotner. All the videos you can see. All online. Um, and it's been one of the nicest bikes I've ever had. Anyway, the wind noise is going to come up now. I will do a proper review again. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Take care, guys, and ride safe. Cheers.